हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द एडवांस कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजी इन थर्ड यूनिट वी हैव सीन द हाउ वी नीड टू गो फॉर प्रोसेस मॉडलिंग हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन द प्रोसेस इन दिस यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एडवांस कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजी इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव आई हैव टोल्ड अबाउट द बेसिक्स एडवांस कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजीज एंड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एडवांस कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजीज दैट वॉट आर द एडवांटेज एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग एडवांस कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजी इन कंप्यूटराइज प्रोसेस कंट्रोल सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्स्ट एडवांस कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजी दैट इज कास्केट कंट्रोल सो वॉट इट डज इज इट मेक द कंट्रोल इजियर ऑल द एडवांस कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटेजीज वर मेक द कंट्रोल वेरी easy that's why we prefer over traditional approach so in cascade control suppose we are measuring the two we are controlling the two variables like pressure and the temperature so in cascade control what we does is we define the each control loop a separate control loop loop for measuring the variable or controlling the variable suppose one loop is uh, primary loop for controlling the one variable and the one loop is secondary loop for controlling the other variable now in this we can understand this in with the help of example we divide the whole process into two loops one is primary loop and one is secondary loop primary loop is for controlling the one variable and the secondary loop is for controlling the other variable so it will make the control easier suppose you can uh, take the example of cascade control of water temperature control in that we are controlling the pressure and the temperature so you can see in the diagram this is diagram this is the stirrer for mixing the product and this is for this circuitry is for temperature control or supply of cold water and steam supply to increase the temperature i will open the valve of steam supply and to decrease the temperature i will open the valve of cold water like that a pressure control valve is there for controlling the pressure two sensors we are using these are the sensor this pt is for pressure transmitter and this tt is for temperature transmitter temper pressure transmitter measures the pressure from this sensor and the temperature transmitter measures the temperature from this sensor once we know the value of the pressure and the transmitter in the current stage we are having the set point value for the both pressure and the temperature and by comparing the both values we can opening and closing we can done the opening and closing of the valve of pressure and the temperature for temperature uh, steam supply and cold water valve is there and for pressure uh, controlling the pressure pressure valve is there so we have divided the whole process in the two loops one loop is known as a primary loop this for pressure we are using the primary loop and the for temperature we are using the secondary loop it can be easily understand by the with the help of block diagram so you can see in the block diagram this block represent the this encircled green block represent the primary loop and this outer shell the outer box represent the secondary loop so you can see that temperature controller is there in the secondary loop and the pressure controller is there the in the primary loop so we have divided the whole control structure into two loops one is primary loop and one is secondary loop so it will make the controller very easy so in this block diagram you can see this is our process and for process we are measuring the pressure as well as the temperature of the process and you can control this a pressure can be controlled by primary loop and the temperature can be controlled by secondary loop so this is all about the cascade control 
by by classified the whole controller process into two groups one is primary loop and one is second loop it will make the controller easy so this is all about the cascade control thank you